By 2020, it's estimated that 70% of the global human population will be mobile phone users. 5.4 billion people. Hidden within each of those phones is the story of global commerce writ large. Take the smartphone in your pocket. Your pocket is the last stop in a journey that, measured in miles, could take you to the moon and back. On every continent, at every minute of the day, raw materials are being extracted and transported from places like Rwanda and Uganda, Argentina and Chile. As those materials arrive, a global constellation of specialists kick into gear. LCD displays roll out in Taiwan, where they're met by sapphire hardened glass from Kentucky. Motion sensors are calibrated in Germany, while power amplifiers are boxed and shipped from North Carolina. Communication chips fly from the Netherlands, while processors flow from both Texas and Taiwan. Only now do the components converge on city-sized assembly plants in China or Vietnam. Seen from this perspective, your phone is actually made in a worldwide assembly line in which a networked fleet of jets replaces the conveyor belt. It's a living network, responding and rebalancing every day. At the moment, specialized expertise captures the lion's share of value. While at the level of resource extraction, battery production and assembly, worker safety and equality are critical. The same flexibility that allows the network to rebalance inputs and outputs from across the globe also fosters human connections and communication. Just as a smartphone is more than the sum of its parts, globalization is more than a zero-sum game. It's not us versus them. It's a global village connected by logistics.